Okay, hello. Um, this is the first test of the Sokorod uh, 32 after being uh, flashed by the latest firmware. Now everything is stuck. I hadn't I hadn't modified uh, any frequencies or tone or anything. So oh, I put it on. I'm gonna try. In Eric's uh, mode here with the same frequency and actually it's not working because there is a, a tone activated by default and we can see that in the UI.c uh, file in the firmware uh, for this channel is uh, it's this tone here so I'm gonna activate it here. And this, yes, and normally now, yes, working. And in the other side, if I push to the PTT here, yes, two, one two one two, it's working. So this is the first test of the. So Corrad 32, Rx and TX, uh, it appears to be working. Um, some things that I wanted to <coughs> talk about is the interface. The UI interface is very, very slow. I didn't expect it that I think there is a lot of optimization and other things to, to do in the firmware. Look, if I want to change the channel, yeah, you have to press, but you don't know how long you have to press, and after release, it's very long. Yes, even for the volume, I click it, and you have to wait. <laughs> One, two, three, well, um, more, around three seconds to <laughs> to refresh the screen. That's crazy. <laughs> It's incredible, so I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see the code and maybe try to make some modifications. Here is to reset an ESP32, and we have some GPIOs available here. Uh, so the speaker is uh, not very well in place, but uh, it's here. And the battery is not included, as you can, as you can uh, think. Okay, that's it for the moment. Uh, maybe I will uh, make a tutorial video to flash this, because it comes with nothing, uh, no power or nothing. So you have to flash it the, the first time before you can use it. So here it is. Thank you.